take a look at this mess of sheet tabs down the bottom here. It's going to be confusing for a user to try and find out where they need to go. Imagine if this was 20 sheet tabs, 30 sheet tabs, 50 sheet tabs. It'd be even more confusing. We need a quick way to sort out our sheet tabs. In this tutorial, we are going to create a custom menu item with a sort tabs ascending and a sort tabs descending order. Now let's run through this quickly so you can see the magic that you're going to create. The first one is sort tabs ascending. Have a look at the tabs down the bottom so you don't miss it. And I'm going to click this button now. Now you can see all the numbers appear first, followed by all the letters in order from A to Z. And we can then flip this to descending or reverse the order. Done. So now you know what to do, let's dive into the code. To play along, you can grab a copy of the starter sheet from the link in the description below. Once you have your starter sheet up and running, let's go to extensions and then apps group. Cool, so the first thing we need to do is to create a menu item that we're gonna call extras. And in future, we might wanna add a bunch of other extra menu items in there to help enhance our Google Sheet. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna change my function now to on, open. And this is a Google Apps Script custom trigger uh, that will run every time you open the sheet. So here, the first thing we need to do is create a constant variable, one that doesn't change, and we'll set this to UI for user interface. And then we'll call the spreadsheet app get UI class. That's going to get all the UI class methods that we can use for the sheet. Next, we can call UI again, and let's just put it in a new line. And what we're going to do is create a menu. So create menu here. So this create menu takes a caption or a label, and we're going to call that extras. And that's going to appear here somewhere after help. And then inside that create menu, we can add some sub menu items with add item. This add item takes two arguments. The first argument is the label, the title, and we're going to say sort tab ascending. We'll make it shorthand ASC. And then the next argument is going to be the function, or it can be a method inside an object as well. And for us, we're going to use a method inside of an object. And the method that we're going to create is called the tab sorter method. So tab sorter. And the property method we want to call is ascending. Cool. And let's do the same again. So just hit uh, shift, control, and down arrow to duplicate. And let's just change ascending to descending. So DESC. And we can change this one here to DESC. Last thing we need to do to create a menu is to build the menu. And we can do that with the add to UI method here. Okay, so that'll actually build out the menu, but it won't be able to address or access anything at the moment. So we can't quite test it yet. Let's just hit save. And let's go down and create our object now. So the object, we are going to call it tab sorter. So const tab sorter. And this is a little bit more of a different approach than you might be used to if you're new to coding in AppScript Script or JavaScript in general. We're going to build out our entire construct inside an object here. And then we're going to create our object with curly braces. And the first parameter, the first property is going to be this ascending one here. So just copy that, paste that in there. And then a colon, and that's going to be equal to another property inside tab sorter. Now, the add item menu expects you to run a function, and that function can't run automatically. It needs to be only run when the button is clicked. So let's first create a nameless function here. What we want to invoke from this function is the sort tab property. So we're going to use this here to reference tab sorter. And then we want to use this sort tab. That's going to be true here. Okay. So our next function is going to be same just for descending. So let me just write this and I'll explain what's going on in a minute. There we go. And 
This sort tab is now going to be set to false. Okay. Okay, so let's now build out our driving force, this sort tab method inside the tab sorter object. So let's just add a quick comment in here. It's going to naturally sort tabs. And it will take one parameter, and that will be a Boolean. So a Boolean is true or false. And it will be, and the parameter will be labeled is ascending. Okay, so see if you can figure out these function calls up here now. And so if it is set to true, then sort ascending or false, sort descending. Okay, and let's just quickly build the, the skeleton of this method, and that will be sort tabs which will be equal to a function that has the parameter is ascending. Great, when ascending is called from this button here, it will run this function and inside this function, it will call the tab sorter sort tabs with the argument true and then do something inside of sort tabs. The same is the case with the descending parameter inside tab sort. It will also run the sort tab inside tab sorter and uh, with the argument false to say we want it in reverse order. Okay, now let's do a quick test. So we can go spreadsheet app here, get uh, maybe get UI alert, and we'll just say is ascending. And then we'll add the is ascending property here and hit save. That's our test run here. It's probably a good time to run this test. All right, so let's go over to our sheet now. We can do a refresh here. Don't worry, it'll, it'll likely close your app script IDE, but you can always get back into it. And you can see we're successfully opened up our extras and we've got sort tab ascending and sort tab descending. Now, if we click on this the first time, we'll have to do a authorization request, but don't worry, you won't have to do it every time you click on these buttons, it's just the first time round. So let's click continue and run through authorization very quickly. And nothing will happen the first time. But if we do it again, we'll get an error because we didn't add an S in here and we're silly. So let's add this to sort tabs because we'll be sorting more than one. We'll hit save again and dismiss and give it another go. Cool. Is ascending true? And then if we hit this one, is ascending false. Great. So we know that our on open works and it's calling tab sorter based on the ascending or descending option here. And then uh, that ascending or descending option is then calling sort tabs. Let's remove that and move on. Cool. So the first thing we need to do inside sort tabs is actually grab the active sheet. So the sheet we're currently running in. So let's create a constant variable called SS, which is equal to spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. And then we want to grab the sheets list. So that's a, a list of all the sheets in our spreadsheet. So we'll go const again, sheets, and that's going to be equal to ss.get sheets. There it is there. Nice. Now, get sheets is actually going to return a constructor of each one of the sheets containing methods for each one of these sheets. We'll be using the get name method of this in the future to uh, sort through this list. So now there's a basic approach and a little bit more advanced approach to sorting data in JavaScript or in Google Apps Script. Now, in the basic sort, we invoke the sort function here. Now the basic function will actually only will actually sort things weirdly with numbers. So if we just invoke sort on a set of numbers, let's say we've got two, one, and one hundred, and we applied sort to them, so that will just sort it to one, one hundred, and then two, which is weird. What we more often than not want is one, two, and then one hundred. Now, it's the same as the case if we were using uh, title headers in our tabs. So sometimes we might say one, uh, I don't know, invoicing, two uh, receipts, 
three dot something or other. So if we did something like that in the same approach, we could, so we might say two dot cake, one dot pizza, and one hundred dot cheese. And if we were to sort that just with a standard sort, then that's also going to do the same thing. This one dot pizza will be first followed by this 100.cheese and this 2.cake would be last. And that's definitely not what we want. We want this 2 to be in this position here and then the 100 cheese to be last. Okay, so how do we actually do this? What we can invoke is something called the International Collator or INTL Collator. And this is a constructor that allows us to collate data and then can compare two data points based on their language, so uh, what international language they're from, or based on certain, certain options like numeric options or their level of sensitivity of the characters. I'll explain this more in a second. So let's create this constructor first. So const collator equals new intl dot collator. So the first optional parameter describes the locale or the language or country it's from. And we don't want to actually use that. So we're going to keep that as defined because it is optional. Now the next argument is going to be the options for the collator. And we can put this inside an object. So the first object option that we want is numeric and that is going to be set to true. This tells the collator that when sorting you want to sort in numeric order so from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or 1, 1 2, 10, 100 instead of how sort would normally work where it would be 1, 10, 100, 2. And the last thing we want to add into this constructor is to declare the sensitivity. Now sen sensitivity basically it ignores the accents. So if you've got in certain languages, you've got different little accents or inflections or ticks and uh, characters above letters. So we want to ignore them in our sorting processes. Now, if you're using this in a language that does use or rely on those, you might want to include them. But for us, we're going to set this to base. And you can find more about this. I've got a link in the written tutorial version of this uh, tutorial below. That's our collator built now. Next thing we need to do is sort all of our sheets. So let's create a new variable. And this one will change. And we'll call this sheet.name. And now we are going to grab our sheets from the sheet variable. And we're going to sort them. And we're going to put a function inside our sort and we'll use an arrow function here and we'll put in A, we'll put A and B as our two parameters. And these are the two parameters that we'll be sorting. So it will compare each item against another item in the sort of the sheet names. And then we'll continue and complete our arrow function and set that up. And I'll give this a bit of space down the bottom here. And what we're going to do is return and now we can call on our collator and the collator has a method called compare and that's going to compare the x string against the y string and here we can basically compare a against b but inside a is still a bunch of methods there's there's no actual text to compare we need to call the get name method to compare the names and then b dot get name so up here, I can see we've got sheet name. Let's make this plural sheet names. So we've got more than one. And then let's just head to this next section here. And so now we're going to apply a ternary operator, which is kind of a single line if statement. So let's say sheet dot names. We'll call that and we'll make that equal. And we can change that because we've used a let variable here. And then we'll say if is ascending, so if, it, if is, it, is ascending is equal to false, and we can use the shorthand, this exclamation mark to make it the opposite, then we'll use a question mark here. We want to reverse our sheet names list. So we can do this with the JavaScript reverse method. So sheet names dot reverse. 
Otherwise, we just want to keep the sheet names. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is iterate through our new ordered sheet name list and move them into the right order in our sheet tabs. So to do this, we'll grab our sheet names and we'll use the for each method to loop through all the sheet names. And we'll use an arrow function again. And that arrow function is going to take uh, two parameters. The first one is each sheet as we iterate through them and then the index. Okay, so as we iterate through the first one, it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And then our little arrow function indicator here and put things on a new line. Give ourselves a bit of space. And we'll say spreadsheet to invoke the spreadsheet and set active oh, sheet. And what active sheet do we want to activate? That's the current one that we're iterating through. And once we've activated that sheet, we can move the active sheet to the index that we want to put it in. Now, indexes in Google Sheets are different than in scripting languages, where scripting languages start from 0, 1, 2, 3. In the index in Google Sheet, the first index location will be 1. So it will start from 1. So we need to add 1 to the index here. So IDX plus 1. Let's hit Save. And if we haven't made any mistakes, we should be good to go. Let's hit save again and go over here and run our extras, sort tab ascending. Yep, everything ordered itself from ascending. Fantastic. And sort tab descending. Everything's been sorted in descending order here as well. So that's it for sorting Google Sheet tabs with Google Apps Script. You can find a link to the written tutorial below and that contains the code and also links to the starter sheet and a bit more of a written explanation on how certain parts of this script work. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that like button. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this, subscribe and hit that notification bell for when the next tutorial comes out. Until next time.